Hi everyone, welcome back to Hobby Farm on the Heights. I'm Ruth. Today I'm going to be finishing up planting some squash and I'm gonna show you a few things that I do to kind of utilize space. It's kind of the bane of every gardener trying to uh, use space optimally. We all uh, are always wanting more space. So I'm gonna show you a few tricks that I do throughout my garden to try to create more space and utilize every corner. So I'm gonna flip my video around here if I can. So here we have some pots. You can see um, I'm going to be planting some squash, three different varieties of squash in these. And these are along my chicken run. You can see my chickens in there. And my idea is that the squash will grow up and over the chicken pen. Ideally, that's the idea behind it. So inside um, these containers, now these containers, um, I, you know I'm a big, fav big fan of salvaging and making use of free items. These planters actually came from my husband's work he works uh, with electricians and they were taking out a bunch of light fixtures. These are light fixtures that were in um, food processing plants. They were putting in new light fixtures and so scrap prices right now are in the tank. So instead so of scrapping them, voila, we have garden pots for free. Anyway, so I don't want to fill up the entire pot with potting soil because it's very expensive and squash doesn't need that much root space. And so I'm going to stick in the bottom of the pot a filler to help with drainage and to just fill up the pot because they don't need that deep. And so I did a couple different options. I'm gonna show you the last option and it's my favorite that I have fallen on. But I have in the bottom is a bunch of wood scrap sticks and looks like this is from Arborvitae, just sticks and scrap, large mulch. I get delivered to my property here, um, the chip trucks from tree pruners. Often you can find um, tree pruners in your area that they will drop off a load of chips for free because they're looking for places to dump. They don't know what to do with the chips. And so quite a few years ago, I signed up at one of those home and garden shows with a local company here in town. And so when they are in my neighborhood, they call me up and ask me if I would like a load of chips. And I have never turned them down, never. I always say yes. I can always give away mulch to friends, etc. So this um, mulch in the bottom of my my pot here is just the large scraps from those free uh, mulch deliveries. You can see that this pathway is nicely mulch. This is all with that free mulch, etc. So what I'm going to do with this pot, now that I have mulch down underneath. Now there's a couple ways you can do that. If you don't have scrap like I do with the wood scraps, um, you can stick some rock and some people do packing peanuts kind of to make uh, different to take up the volume. Uh, the first couple ones down there, I had a few milk jugs and some Gatorade bottles that the boys had had around. So I put those under. A lot of people can use those because you can fill them up. I don't have a lot of them hanging around. Um, and so I was trying to think of ways to finish this project. I didn't want to stop today. And I had ran out of milk jugs and I had ran out of just plastic bottles around. And so my hubby actually says, hey, why don't you just put some of that large stick mulch in there. I'm like, oh, light bulb. He's smart. I should have talked to him before this. Anyway, so that's what we're gonna do. And then I'm just gonna take my potting soil and put it in. And you'll see I have just a professional mix here, generic professional mix. And I do have some miracle Grow. It does have a little bit of fertilizer in there um, that I like to just mix in. Miracle Grow tends to be more expensive than a generic brand, but sometimes the fertilizer is superior, so I like to mix them. Now, if you were going organic, if that was something that was important to you, you would wanna make sure that your potting soil was an organic potting soil. That way it would keep 
your plants organic. I don't, obviously, if you've been watching my videos, not everything in my garden is organic. I do it as naturally as possible, etc. So this is what I've done. That's the last spot, but in here, I think this is, uh, this is Hubbard squash. So I am just going to plant these in here. There's four in here and three, and I, I will probably put three plants, one, two, three, and water it in really well. And then as it grows, I'm gonna just train it to go up and over this chicken fence here. And then at the end of the season when I'm harvesting, because squash, um, this long season squash, what I'm planting over here, the spaghetti squash, the Hubbard squash, and the butternut squash, it's a long season and, it, and you harvest it all at once in the fall. And so I will just gather the vines back, pick all the fruit, and voila. Now, I have never tried this before. This is something new to try to grow more things with less space. Squash takes lots of space if you're not um, trellising it or doing something like that with it. And so this is my way of trying to trellis and do it that way. I trellis as much as possible. Anything that I can possibly trellis, I do. I trellis my watermelons. I can walk over here and show you my watermelon plants here. I have them on a pig panel. This is a pig panel. So you can see the little plants in here. Hi, Geronimo. So I train my watermelon to come up here and along and it keeps them up. I can keep it weeded better. Um, they don't sit on the ground and rot. I do the same with cantaloupe. Uh, anything that I can. The only thing I have never trellised is the large pumpkins because you would have to support the weight of each pumpkin. Otherwise it would, it would pick itself. As it got heavier, it would fall off the vine. And so um, it has to be something that's not going to pick itself. Cantaloupe I have had success with. Sometimes I have taken twine and kind of made a little basket to hold it up if I feel like it's pulling too much. Same with the, the watermelon too. If it's pulling too much, I will kind of support it, tie it to the trellis a bit more. But I've done this for several years and I have had great success with it. I prefer to do it that way. Anything I can trellis at all, I try to trellis. And it gives you more space. You can grow more things in a less amount of space. The cat is untying my shoe as we speak. Lovely. Anyway, hopefully um, this inspires you to try something new. Maybe rearrange your garden to get more space in by trellising. And you will have to follow along to see how well our trellising of squash over the chicken pen goes. Thanks for watching.